Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 274. Welcome to 2024, everybody. We're here. Uh, we're talking about Wix 5. That's what we're doing. That's the kinds of things we're going to be doing today. It's all about Wix 5 at this point. So uh, this meeting is recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here, right now. Uh, and if you are, go ahead and say hi and chat. Uh, Happy New Year. All right, roll call. Everybody here, what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about the Wix 5 release plan because based off of things I've heard, many of the things coming from Bob, uh, I went, you know what, we should modify the release plan a little bit. Um, and then we'll do issue triage and then we'll do questions and comments, things that people wanna talk about um, from there. So let's go jump into the new Wix 5 release plan. Maybe I should bring up the old plan, should I bring up the old plan? Do I have the old plan? I think I have the old plan. Uh, I would answer that question first and then... All right, uh, yeah, here we go. Here's the old plan. All right, here's the old Wix 5 plan. Old, original, the one that we threw out there like at the beginning of Wix 5 going, well, January is like six, eight months away or whatever it was, um, a long ways away. Let's just put these lines um, in the sand, uh, which basically said, let's release a preview and RC and RC and then RTM on the fifth of all these months going out the door. And this was a great lie in the sand um, to, to go with to start with. Uh, but on thinking about it, I, I, I have a better idea. So let me go back to the new plan where we release on the, we release three RCs on the last Monday of each of the month and then we release on April 5th. So the final release date of it of Wix 5 doesn't move. We just move RCs uh, to the end of the months and we get rid of the preview and we just call them RCs. How did I get here? Um, there's a couple things that Bob said. One of the things he said was um, the first release gets the most attention which is definitely true. People don't, not as many people picked up the RCs. Um, and then the other thing he said was, um, how much time do we need between the releases really uh, to just sit there and wait on things? Wix 4 was a very, very long release. It had a long, 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 no, long, no. long, long, long um, timeline. And then we changed a whole bunch of stuff right at the last minute. So it needed a lot more time to bake. Wix 5, being a year re yearly release, has a lot less things um, changed in it. So I kind of went, you know what? Let's get rid of Preview 1 because nobody knows how to approach a Preview 1 and what it was. We needed that in Wix 4 given how much change there was just to kind of go, here it is, let us know how close we are. Um, I don't think we need that for Wix 5. We, we're going to know pretty well. A lot of it is because we brought in a significant amount of automated testing in Wix 4, which was a lot of work, but it's paying for it now. It's like things that are being done, I feel pretty high confidence because, yeah, when mistakes are made, the tests are catching things and then we're adding more tests. So that feels really good. So instead of going with a preview one, let's start with an RC. It's the same thing. It's the first release of the end of the road kind of thing. So we got rid of, rid of the preview and we just call it RC. And then we did one, two, three, because I don't know, three still feels like a good number right now. All right, we could get, that could be wrong about that. Um, I felt like four in Wix four was fine. Well, I guess five, if you count the preview, was fine in Wix four, given how much churn there was. But again, I think Wix five with the amount of change that we have in it, three RCs is probably gonna be plenty. Um, it might even be that we only need two. That would be really cool. That would be like great for information for next release. But for this release, I think that, um, and then also we do not need a lot of time between the last RC and the actual release. So there's a, a week and um, between that March date and the April date, there's roughly two weeks. I mean, it's two weeks minus the end days. So. That should be plenty of time for us to go, look, if we're RTMing two weeks, just kind of sit in RC3 to see if anything really bad shows up, seemed reasonable. So that's why I kind of brought the schedule in, squish it together a little bit, make it a bit more refined. So it's essentially like, you know, uh, these three months of, you know, a month, 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 and then a beat 
and then a release. So one, two, three months of RCs, and then a release on April 5th. Kind of the, the thing I'm thinking. Of course, we could find something out here and none, nothing is actually what I thought it was and blow up the entire plan. So uh, this is a plan. It, I, it feels really good um, based off where everything is. And so I'm pretty confident that this is what we'll do for Wix 5. And hopefully what we kind of get into for Wix releases, if anything, maybe we can even drop off an RC. Like, I think that's my ideal would be RC1, RC2, and then a release. I think that's my ideal. Where RC2 is basically, hey, everybody picked up the RC1. They found some edge cases that we missed. RC2 goes out. We get another little uh, look at it, and then we're done, right? And just poof, everything's good. Um, so that's the thinking. Um, and uh, that's like three weeks away, something like that. Four weeks away, three weeks away. I've kind of lost track of my counting here. One, two, three. Yeah, if this week. All right, so four weeks of count this week, something like that. Um, to kind of roll our way out to the end of Wix 5. Any feedback? Anything people want to let go? Yeah, yeah, Kurt, no, no, or yeah, it seems reasonable. I'm on the seems reasonable bandwagon. Yeah. This is not a complete surprise to Bob, of course, because it's mostly his comments along the way that formed this uh, position. All right, so that's what we're looking at. Um, and yeah, we have some work to do, uh, some things to get done here. And um, we should go talk about that. I will be updating uh, the milestones. So during our triage, we'll probably look at preview, what's currently in preview one, and then that will be renamed RC1 before the next meeting. So. Should we talk about triage then, I suppose, right? Yeah, do you want to split that into new and old, I guess? Yeah, let's go ahead, do triage, and we're just going to go through all the existing bugs, and then we'll take a spin through what is currently labeled preview one. Sounds good. All right, so, do do do, -do off to GitHub. Um, I think this is someone forgetting to add Oh, this issue is moved to a discussion. Okay, yeah, great. So that should not be our triage, and that will go away. All right. Well, this this I I left open yeah. to see if they would provide the stack trace that you know would be useful, but they're apparently happy having disabled validation. So, oh, all right. Uh, Wait, no, this is sorry. This is seven eight six seven. Component element contains unhandled section extension. Oh, element, I'm sorry. XML I'm sorry. config. Yeah, this is they probably forgot to add the extension on the command line. <sighs> hint, hint. This is an area that I want to think about in Wix six, staring to the future. All right, seven eight seven seven. Um, this is the whole quite uninstall string. It looks like Bob took the change for it. So this probably should just be marked burn and get out of triage. And we should add it to the correct milestone since it's in Wix 5 now. So we don't lose it for bookkeeping purposes. Cool? Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm very confused. My view is messed up a bit. 77, yeah. Welcome New Year 2024. Everything resets, we have to put everything back together. That's the way this works, right? No, uh, <laughs> we're just a few weeks off and we're all trying to remember, how does uh, how do we do this again? All right, let's go look at things that are not closed. 7897, unauthorized exception, access with path, Wix validator denied. Oh, uh, this is... is the one that I left open for the, uh, uh, what you call it, possible repro. Right. Well, and I would say it's been three weeks, even though it's over the holidays, there's been no response. So uh, I think it's safe to close. Yep, probably. Now you have 7917, which is put a try catch around the validator mutex. Correct. That's why I'm comfortable closing. Because <laughs> you have something that you want to do in uh, Wix 5, presumably? 
Or are we just going to toss this up for grabs? Oh, well, okay. Let's let's triage that, huh? Yeah, I'm here now. 7917. Um... Well, I'm. I waffle because I did kind of want the stack trace to know that we were doing something smart. Yeah. Right. Um, so I I dislike the. Uh, the blind, the blind fixes. Um, that said, this is a perfectly safe thing to add, so I will go ahead and. I'll take it for myself. Yeah. Maybe even something we had in Wix three. It wasn't. So. Oh, okay. Hmm, interesting. All right. Cool. So end of week five, and we'll, we'll move on. All right. Oh, look, we had another accessibility drive by seven nine one eight. Voiceover does not report installation was successful. Okay. And they haven't come back with yeah. anything. Start a MSI and incomplete. The default welcome dialog. Start that. Complete the installation and the installation. Text is not read correctly. Yeah, this is drive by and incomplete. So, <sighs> all right. Well, I don't know. Uh, Are we toss an accessibility bucket. No. I, oh, you're no. Gonna, this isn't. This is. You're gonna kill it. This. I don't think this is actionable. All right. I guess it's the complete installation. Installation was successful, not read, but I don't know. Yeah, but no, there's no, there's not enough information here. All right. Installation was successful. Does not appear in Wix UI. Oh, so, I see. <laughs> is this is this a bundle? I I don't know. It it says it says it's not. It and says MSI. And yeah, it does. And but you're saying I thought you're saying that this UI was not this is not UI inside Wix. Installation was successful. Is not in the Wix UI. I, I'm. I will double check. Okay. I will. I will double check. But even even if even if it is, it, it. I'm sorry. This is this is a horrible horrible bug report. I don't think we should be you know digging in to to try to intuit what they meant. Oh, agreed. I just thought that if it literally is complete the installation and installation was successful isn't red that that's the end well if it's that then okay you know i might feel comfortable with that but i don't know accessibility i certainly don't know screen reader accessibility well so uh you know this that's the whole accessibility issue bug thing that's like yeah there's this whole area well, of windows installer ui right. being its own thing not even standard accessibility being its own thing someone has to yeah. go learn accessibility learn windows installer ui and go here's the best that we can do here's the things that we can't do and there you go right screen reader accessibility is even harder because yeah i mean this one at least mentions narrator which is built into windows right many you know Yes, don't even tell what tool they're doing. Or, yeah, or, yeah. Or, or, or yeah, let's start a third-party tool. I'm like, I don't have that. Yeah. Because, you know, accessibility isn't my forte. Nope. So. Anyway, agreed, this is that bucket of things, which is another 7919. Optional actions keyboard shortcuts not announced. Next, yeah, next, this optional. Is not in Wix. I don't know what this is. This is a custom dialogue. This this yeah this is external from a power shell. <laughs> this is external. This is, they can go yeah, correct. Right. This is external. It's like uh, go figure out who does that. Done. Yeah. I was I was I gave both of these issues, you know, an, an additional prompt for information. And granted, it was three weeks over the holidays, but it's been three weeks. I've, yeah. No. At least the other one, if that text is in Wix, then I'd be like, oh, okay, that's I, a text. I will. But I will look at that. If it's not in Wix, it's like okay, cool. You have text that you've modified. Don't know how. That's your bug. All right, 7925. Upgrading Wix 311 to Wix 403, not able to reference UI extensions. Ah. Oh, okay, right. I I poked at this, didn't I? I think I did. Because I got the project down and it wouldn't build. Right. Oh, I remember this. And then I poked at it again. Yeah, this issue, okay, right. I remember this. This issue is very strange because they've done wacky, crazy 
nonsense things to their Wix proj. And the most important thing is they added a target framework to their Wix project, which makes no sense because target framework is a C sharp thing, but it throws off the Wix project such that they don't restore their extensions correctly anymore because NuGet picks up the target framework and then throws our our extensions into a different directory or a different location than they should be because the project says, I'm .NET Framework whatever. And Wix is like, you can't be .NET Frameworks, but NuGet's like, well, I'll restore it in .NET Framework whatever. And the whole thing just gets disconnected. Um, so uh, go ahead and give this issue to me in Wix 5. I wanna see if I can't get an error or something to tell you that putting target framework inside a Wix project will not do good stuff. So that's what I'm gonna to try to do without having everything else blow up. And this is just complications fitting in with the overall MS build ecosystem and the complications that they create in that overall system with by having C sharp being their primary focus. And sometimes you have to do things to undo the special stuff they do for the um, Wix 5. In the end, this is don't do what they did to their project and things will work. Um, I remember looking at this project, it's like, it's bad. It's like, what have you done to your Wix project? It's supposed to be nice and clean. You made a mess of it. Anyway, so I'll take a swing at that. 7926, hey, more accessibility. Destination folder is read in, incorrect. Launch, such as PowerShells. Okay. Uh, all right. You know what? I, uh, this, this one, okay, this one is actually not a horrible bug report. Um, they, you know, it, it goes back to screen reader, you know, not, mention, not mentioning any use of, of narrator, which I think would report the same issue. Um, but, you know, if, if you dig into it, it's like, oh, well, they show the order and they show what they expect the order to be. And, okay, yes, this is actually a case where, you know, tab order is important. It's not important generally in MSI, um, but we could reorganize the XML to provide a more logical order for whatever these dialogues are which one is this a destination right. folder it is yeah it truthfully it's it you know it's almost certainly a general problem uh just because of how how they're ordered how i was gonna see if there's a way i could not take the blame but um given how i originally structured back in 2000 whatever um the authoring for those dialogues. I, there, there's some groupings there. Gotcha. That, that I don't know that I intentionally did that, but it kind of worked out that way and I kept it up. And yeah, it results in a pretty poor um, tab reading order. order. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's not, the tab order is better, although there are some, there's definitely some weirdnesses in the tab order. Um, the problem is with, you know, with, with a screen reader, you're exposing the tab order for non-tabbed controls. So you know, um, even a dedicated keyboard user would not necessarily right, notice right, these right. problems because yeah. focus never stops on you know a, a static control. Right, that makes sense. So this is a better bug, and actually, I couldn't find another example of it. So. It's even, you know, unique. Little. Yep. Cool. Um, so, so I will dig up the original accessibility bug and tag it here. And great. Do all that stuff. Cool. Cool. Seven nine two six seven nine three two. Custom action projects not limited to targeting .NET framework. They would like to be able to target .NET Core or dot yeah .NET Core. Yeah, that'd be great. Up for grabs. Someone could do that work. It's not easy. It's kind of a pain. Um, short file name of directory element in .wix file, interesting. Doesn't allow to use localization variable. Oh, that's a bummer. Who uses short names, but sure, okay. Um, 
Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, if you don't want that one, Bob, give it to me. I'll take it. It's a mistake. Probably got tightened a short name and didn't allow. Yeah. Doesn't allow the bind variables in there. Cool. Excellent. Cool, right? Good. Thanks, sir. Okay, now... Oh, I didn't open this one. I lost my tab where I had all that. Okay. Um, I want just open ones. Milestone preview there. All right. I don't want closed ones right now, do I? All right. And I wanted this sorted. Oldest first. Okay. So this is the stuff that we have remaining with five. Pretty sure all of it's not going to fit at this point. Um, should we just spin through these 38, Bob, you think? Yeah, I think so. All right. Um, and it's kind of a, are we going to do these things? All right, five, two, two, zero. Related bundle logging doesn't respect parent bundle log switch. Um, Meh. All right. <laughs> Probably not going to happen. We don't need to get rid of these now. I just want to kind of get a feel for what we think is going to happen in the time frame. Um, five, four, nine, four. Opened by somebody else, assigned to somebody else. And I haven't seen anything work. Okay. So this probably isn't happening. But I guess we could wait a little bit longer. We might leave a note saying, hey, by the way, the schedule is out. This needs to get done soon um, for that person to kind of bump them, bump along there. Cool? Uh, yeah, sorry, just catching up. Yep. All right. 5854, the documentation issue. I'm keeping that one because I'm thinking about where we're at. But at the end, always five. It'll be like the very, very end. All right. Um, 6350, burn does not repair an MSI when slipstream with a minor update patch. Yeah, still curious, but okay. it's not going to happen in five. Okay. Um, if it's not going to happen in five, you can take it out of there, keep it assigned to yourself, I think, and we can look at it again in the future. Um, 6423 is migrate compiler backend specific error message to the compiler appropriate backend. This is an area that I continue to do little bits and pieces as I go along. I probably won't do everything. Um, so I, this may turn out to be not a good issue to keep like this. It may just be too broad, um, but maybe, I don't know, until, I, don't know, I haven't decided. There's a whole lot of messages to kind of go through and sweep and have to decide how many, uh, when do I want to be done with them? Yeah, this, like that, I think so. this turns more into a, a hygiene item for every release. Yeah, exactly, until we finally get it clean and then we don't make a mess of it after that. So, well, anyway. that's that's the hygiene item for every release. Oh, I see. Yes. Stop. Stop yes. doing that as yep. well. All right. Seven, eight, seven, uh, six, seven, eight, three. Embedded and embedded error progress messages should support additional data. Um. Yeah. Yeah, but no, I'm not, not going to happen. This in yep. Five. No, it's just I, I. I'm at the point. So I mean, in my own head, I'm. Um. You know, I took some of these issues because they were interesting and or big. Um, and the big ones are like, yeah, well, this, is, this one in particular isn't that big. Um, but it's, yeah, it's low, low level enough. I'm like, yeah, yeah no, uh, I, we, it's we, not we, the right, it's not the right time in a milestone to do this. Right. We, we refocused Wix 5 to be narrower. We carried on some of these things from before and want to refine them and find a way to yeah. come back. Go, oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> It's the tr traditional thing of, oh, we really ought to do that, or oh, I really, I really ought to do that, because yeah. I opened this issue. So, uh, but yeah, no, it's not, uh, not yeah. on my agenda. All right, uh, six nine four seven. Reevaluate use of compare string, and I am. This is in my mix of things I'm doing with Burns, so I might not get all of them, but I might. I haven't decided how far I'm going with this, but this is definitely something I do. It might be similar to the extensibility or the the migrate ish errors to the back. Is like get most of them and oh, start going yeah. forward to get the rest. We'll see. Right, right. Seven two two eight. Revisit the need desire for Wix Quiet Exec sixty four. Um. Yeah, we should do that. Okay. 
but I'm fine if we don't do it in this release. Okay, I, I you know, the, it, the, it, it works, and I, I just think it. The problem is, it. I think it could be done entirely better, and mm. that's you know, a challenge. Right. Um, WCA initialize should log additional information. Seven yeah. two five three. I looked at this. Unfortunately, the informational version is not currently exposed by anything in Deal or mm. WCA. Yeah. Um, and at least in the Wix DLLs, it's only recorded in the product version. The product version field of the you know the mm -hmm. version block. Yep. And so it's like, yeah, this isn't. This isn't challenging, really, to add. Um, it would fall off of my list when I run out of time, but I will keep it in five for now, I think. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Uh, Multi-SC insert string does not double null terminate when called on the first value. This is a breaking change. I haven't decided if we should take, so I'm just kind of holding on to it. It'll probably be mm -hmm. one of those things I decide okay. later. Okay. Um, theme Beautiful 4 in a page is visible in other pages. Uh, this got reassigned to me. Um, I am not going to be doing this. So we can kick it out of five. Or I'm not getting to this. Like, actually, there's a C. Yeah. Yeah. So there's that. Um, 7379 Wix internal UI Bootstrap application screen flash. Uh, one of these is a splash screen, so that one's later. I don't know if I'm gonna bother. I don't think I'm gonna get to this green flash thing. Hey, leave this open to me, because as I'm working through the big changes to the burn UI, I, I don't know, I've not got to the internal UI and rethinking the internal UI to know if it's gonna fix them or not. So, mm, we'll see. Okay. I don't think it's gonna fix them, and this probably is gonna fall out, but whatever. Um. A prerequisite required dialog. This is a feature request. This got dumped on me. I'm not doing this in five. So to be clear, you dumped it on yourself. I did. Uh, I just reassigned everything to me. Uh, Wix internal UI Bootstrap application default splash screen. This is one of the things I'm working on with the outer proc thing. The the splash screen is actually one of the more interesting parts. So I'm going to hold on to this as just kind of reminder of, hey, can I really fix the splash screen everywhere? I don't know. Mm, okay. Um, it's a pain, especially when it goes out of proc. It gets really wonky. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't help the whole focus thing. No, it won't. Well, we already have the problem. It, it is a source of yeah. focus. It's just solving it is wonky. All right. 7401 uh, Unified Artifacts. Now that .NET 8 is out, I do want to take a look at this. I just have to sit down. I have not spent any time on this. So this could fall out simply because I run out of time. Um, yeah. But I am curious in it especially since I may like want to move to using it globally. Like since they've defined the concept of artifacts and we've always had the concept of artifacts, maybe we unify on their unified artifacts. Ha uh ha. -huh. Um, but it's like, Oh, they're the, they define the standard cause they are the platform and we'll just right. deal with it. We'll see. Um, duplicate compo components in fragment compiles without errors. This is in library 7420. This is, um, putting component duplicate components in the same fragment into a library, the library could do more error checking. I'm not gonna get this done in five. It's just not gonna get far enough high um, to, to bubble up. But it is something I wanna kinda of keep looking at. So we can take that out of five, but I will look at it in the future. Um, Wix 4, uh, 7455, Wix 4.0 projects do not support removing compile items from the build. Yeah, they, we do, but you have to do it in a really wonky way. So C Sharp does something smarter. So along with the artifacts thing, I want to go and figure out what they did to see if we can do get smarter in our MS build thing. This goes along with that other issue where the target framework, it's like I have these like three, I was going to go do them all together kind of thing. Um, NBA native isn't automatically included. Yeah, this this is part of, all this is changing. So I will be touching that uh, with 7465. I will be touching that when I, work my way through all the outer proc stuff. Cool. Um, 7466-D does not work when using .NET tool Wix. I, uh, this is, I wanna look at it, but I don't care that much. <laughs> so it'll be one of those things that if I get to it, I'll, it'll slide out. Um, 
7544 add support for multilingual MSI packages. Ah, oh, right, these guys that did all this stuff out there. And and yeah, so that would be cool if someone wanted to do all that work. We shouldn't mention to them that if they're going to do that, they should do so soon. Um, I expect this is going to fall out of five. The ability to do like multi transform based MSIs. This isn't going to fit. There's no way they, unless this is, uh, maybe they've got a lot done already. Let's just mention to it. But if they're just getting started, there's no way this is going to get fit and stable <laughs> in time. Well, currently the person it's assigned to is not claiming that they're going to implement it. Oh, well then, oh, then why did it get assigned to them? Well, we should remove it from them and put it up for grabs. Yeah. All right. Um, consider adding ref more attributes. Uh, seven five eight five. I want to do this. I'm like this is one of those. I really want to do it because I think it would, you know, clean up a few more things. But it's lower priority than the other things I have. So we'll see. Um, seven six two two support for non SNI SSL certificates. This is already out there, right? This has a pull request somewhere. It does. It's not tied to this issue. Uh, oh. That's annoying. I don't think. Yeah, it's not tied to this issue. It show up here. Um, but cool. So we should just poke at that and see if they're going to finish it for. I don't know. Is the, I haven't even looked at this pull request. It was in the firewall I, I, and all that I stuff did. that I didn't get to. I did. I provided some feedback. And it's been a couple of months I haven't heard back. So, right. so we could poke them and say, hey, we're five's getting done. Um, package name dir whack fails and was for seven six three eight. Uh, yeah. Um, I'll I'll keep it for now. It will fall off. This isn't a bundle. This is just for bundles. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, oddities excluding uh, seven six eight seven oddities excluding files in Visual Studio. This is the other side of or removing compile items. It's that kind of thing. Right. So I just want to, those go together. Uh, 7695, generate component ID when there's no valid key path. Yeah, so this was not actually assigned to the five milestone until last night. Oh, okay. And the problem is, I don't know if I had anything in mind, but, you know, this the, the basic problem of generating stable IDs when you don't have enough information is challenging. Um, and I don't know that I ever came up with an idea for what we would use to generate a stable ID, especially, you know, early in the process, um, as opposed to like, you know, what we do to generate a component ID. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, was, well, I, was like, uh, I went, I went looking at it, but so the, the, the the way to solve this is for us to not be required to generate IDs in the compiler and be able to identify symbols in the compiler and then generate the IDs in the backends. Right. When they will have enough information. When they might have yeah. enough information. Because the compiler often doesn't have enough information to do it in line. Um, and that is a cool but much more complex feature um, than... Not just Squeeze it in on a weekend? No, no, but it is, yeah. But no, it is like, hey, you mentioned Wix 6 here. It is something that I have in mind in that general vicinity yeah. of the world. Well, yeah, the biggest problem is, you know, MSI uses ID frequently as a foreign key. So, you know, things have to be set up early. Um, and we've talked before about the idea of having, you know, internal IDs right. that are turned into publicly visible ones, which right. kind of goes with the, you know, access yes, modifiers. Exactly. And and I tried when I added access modifiers and it spiraled out of the complexity got way too hard for what I was doing at that time. So I, right. I just had to go, okay, there's something here. There's a good feature here. I just can't get it to land right now. And if I wasn't rewriting burn in five, I might've been trying to do that in five, but yeah. I got, Pulled back into native code deep, so not that. So anyway, 
I think that's the general solution to that thing there. Yeah. So I'm taking it out of five. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Publish signing fingerprint. I have that. It's a website thing. I will work on that. Um, 7857 WIP Wix files, the V5 files feature. Sorry, did we skip something? I don't think. Oh, probably because I a bunch of things shrunk. Let me refresh. There we go. Yes, we did. Dooby 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 doo. Um, no. Wait. I have lost it now. Okay, seven nine, seven Hold six on. nine seven six. six nine five was the generate component ID. So yeah, seven six nine six. Yeah, but where'd mine? I was just looking at one that. Hmm. All right. Uh, yeah. Anyway, oh, this is naked file. Oh, okay, this is naked file. I was we were looking at files, and this is a, wow. Talk about lining right, up. Right. Okay. Woo. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Seven six nine six. Uh, this is done. Almost done. This is pull request waiting for someone to review it. I thought I reviewed all of them. Okay. Well, it, then. This, this one came uh, a day or two ago. Oh, well, I took yesterday off, so there we go. All right, 7696, so okay. Yay, That Bob's been working on that. That's like the, almost the, this is like the penultimate issue of the release for you, right? It's, it's the, yeah, the, the fourth of my big five. Yeah, but it's like the second best one. Yes. All right. Um, if I write potential good error message mixing Wix 5 and Wix 4, this is assigned to me, uh, 7709. I have work to do here, so I and I will be doing it. We need to do that before release, so there's that. Um, 7724, system argument, no exception. This is, I think, the project. Uh, yeah, this is the XE package stuff. Yeah. Um, oh, the payload stuff. Yeah, with the payloads and all the... It's just so complicated. The, the handling of all that is just bonkers complicated um i don't know if this is gonna make five um it's just such a narrow case and getting the error message right without blowing up all the other messages <laughs> without blowing up all the other cases is challenging um so i don't know if that's okay. gonna make five this is like really low on my list but i'll but, leave it here but you leave it yeah if i get to it i'll i'll fix it but it's yeah. Chester's are very, it's, it's lower than a couple of other things. I'm like, yeah, probably not getting, like, I want to do this dash T more than I want to deal with the system argument thing here. Okay. That's the fine. 7778 bundles V3 and V4 do not see each other. You are going yeah. to come up with magic and somehow figure out how to do this. Yeah. The magic, magic is in short supply. Um, mm -hmm. I need to tap a couple of mana cards. Um, yeah. <laughs> this, I'm, I'm going to announce that I will not be doing anything on this in V5. Yep. Uh, it is a hard problem, and if there is a magic solution, it would have to be yeah, magic. Yeah, I, I think maybe the answer is just we document it, and then like that might yeah, be the end yeah. result of this. And then we close, yeah. like, no, yeah, we went, this is a breaking change from V3 to V4. We're better off going on, but yeah, you're going to have a right. bump when you go from V3 to V4. Have a nice day. Yep. Um, 7783 Wix V4 module ID is restricted by Windows restricted file names. I want to fix this one. I'll leave that open. We'll see if I can do that. Seven, I, seven. I, I want to leave it because I like the idea of, of you know, <laughs> printers starting to print when you <laughs> name something LPT. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. Uh, no. All right. 7798, feature to allow MSI property to have an empty value. I'm hoping to get to that. Uh, it's a small. I hope it's a small change. But yeah. There's a workaround, but it's kind of goofy. All right. Now we're to here. Wait. No. I'm, now I'm missing something. Keep closing these as I go along. All right. There Sorry. it is. It's fine. 7821, uh, the published signings. All right. Yep. That's a doc thing we'll be doing at the end of the release. Uh, 7857 WIP Wix 5 files. We were just talking about this being the ultimate feature that Bob is working towards. And um, also last on my list, but not least. Yep. Um, that one is in progress. Um, yep. But it, it it turns out all of almost all of the features, the five big features for me for Wix 5, we're highly dependent on one another. So um, I've you know, had to stack PRs and branches and whatnot. It's kind of a pain. Um, files is coming along, but there's more work to do on it. All right. Um, anonymous directory ID is inconsistent. 7861, I want to look at this one. We'll see. It's not as important as the other ones. Things work, but it'd be better. 7862, readme's for the new new packages, the nup kegs. I, I, I regretted almost immediately 
signing up for this issue. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of but them. Because there are way, way, way so many. And all of the examples that are out there are, you know, your traditional managed libraries, of which we have two or three. Um, there are a lot fewer examples for good readmes for the things that we use NuGet for. So, uh, but there will be something yep. of a readme in every yep. published NuGet package. All right. I'll get rid of the warnings. That'll be nice. Um, Bootstrap application That's processes. That's the only reason I'm doing it. Seven nine one six. This is. This is what I'm working on. It's big. Um, seven nine two five. After upgrading three eleven to four hundred three, I'm not able to reference UI elements. What did I do? You took that to. Oh okay, wait. Restore issues. Why are they shut down? Oh oh, this is okay. I sorry. I was like, why is this old issue here? No, this isn't a very nope. new issue. And then here's a short file name, which we just talked about. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Cool. So uh, going back, Bob and I have a bunch of things we're doing before the end of the month. It's going to get a little tight. A bunch of those things are going to fall off, I'm certain, because there's just aren't enough hours in the day to get them all done. Um, unless someone wants to jump in and pick up one of those that I said, ah, it'd be nice to have this, but I'm not going to get to it. Hey, anyone else could pick that up. Um, if you have That's something in five, meeting. you need to get in there. Talk about, you know, how many of these things have to be done in RC1. I, for example, do not anticipate being done with all of the NuGet package readmes by uh, the 29th. Yeah. Not men. Yeah. <laughs> readmes might be the issue. Everything else, okay. I'm not sure. Okay. I, I, I mean, I'm fine taking... You know, a hardline approach like that. Yeah. Which is why I'm, I'm, you know, when I was mentally going through my list, I'm like going, you know, nope, nope, nope. Yeah. Just... Yep. Oh, and the doc, like the doc things I know, like those are planned for the end of five, given the time frame and everything. Uh, so the, those, and I guess read me is like in the doc bucket. So it has to be done in the build process, well, but, yeah. but, you know, that's the it's just human text it, it is parsed by humans not by computers therefore <laughs> if it has bugs in it typos and such it doesn't crash anything hopefully yeah. um yeah. now that said you know we will have doc we will need to have doc for rc1 so that actually i should open an issue so that it's explicitly planned because mm -hmm. um, i think especially because we're going straight to rc1 we need to have at least some slash most of the doc uh, structured that we want yep. for RTM. Yeah, I need to doc virtual, however I, that gets mm -hmm. documented. I haven't figured out how to document that. Um, and then it's more, here's how you migrate from Wix 4 to Wix 5. Um, exactly. Bundles, bur burn, and, but yep. that one I'm still working on, so I don't have the answer to that. But I think that's the extent of my documentation changes because I well, don't have much doc change in this case. My stuff is very low level and invisible, mostly invisible. Yeah, well, except if you're writing VAs. Um, yeah, but that's the kind of doc that, that is the kind of doc I'm talking about. Yeah. You know, so it, it's, you know, we have it today, Wix 4 for Wix 3 users. We need the version, you know, we need another version, um, Wix 5 for Wix 4 users. Mm -hmm. And yeah, for the most part, it's going to be talking about that impact to your authoring, which for some people, you know, will be completely invisible. For others, it won't. But, you know, like the, the new default stuff that I did, that all needs to yeah. be documented. Those, yeah. those have bigger documentation needs. Yours have yeah. very much user-facing yep. requirements. So that, that's a much – you have a much larger doc issue than I do, I think. Yeah, conceptually which too. Which is something I that occurred to me, and I went, "Oh, expletive." <laughs> well, yeah, good features though. All right. Oh yeah. So to that end, things people want to talk about: questions, comments, other things going on. I think the next meeting being on the sixteenth is probably right. Yep. That probably lines up well. Um. Maybe I should have put the release dates on Tuesdays instead. 
Maybe uh, I sh I didn't think about that, but if I yeah. did, well, it doesn't quite. Yeah, maybe I should do that. Oh, actually, the twenty March twenty sixth is already the Tuesday. Ah. Oh. And February twenty fifth is a Sunday. That I those I got backwards then. Yeah. It's a typical me. Uh. See, there were dates involved. I should have reviewed it. Yes. But what if we move them all to the Tuesdays? That I'm, might I'm fine with that. Work out well. Although the twenty seventh of February. That's still gonna be a meeting. Assuming is, we do is a meeting? Is it? We do fortnightly meetings. Um yeah, they'll all be Did I get that right? Don't feel like that's correct. March 26th is correct. 26. Oh, 26 was correct. That's 29th. You know, honestly, that makes a lot of sense. Not, not March 29th. Yeah, there I fixed go. it. Oh, okay. Took Sorry. me a second. I'm looking at four different screens. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, yeah. But that means um, January 30th. Oh, yes, right. For RC1. Right, right, right. I think that makes sense. I don't know that there's a big yeah, difference between yeah. Monday and Tuesday. So, plus we have the meeting and then yeah. get the release out. I think that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Also gives us Monday to do any front loading. Uh, yeah, sure. All right. So, those of you watching, <laughs> those of you that don't watch the meeting to the end. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be surprised when we start talking about Tuesdays next time. We'll, we'll rehash it. So, um, but yeah, Tuesdays. I think that makes more sense. Tuesday, 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 and then we release on the 5th, which happens to be a Friday. Yeah. But that date can't move. No, that date's important. All right. Other things going on. Everybody's quiet out there. I hope that doesn't mean that chat has disconnected from the world. Um, but maybe it does. Um, I think that's that. So if we were back in two weeks, that would be January 16th and check in and see what the list of Wix 5 remaining Wix 5 issues is. Yeah, it'd probably be a good idea to yeah, do another pass and decide, uh, you know, on the, the stuff that is likely to fall off. Is, are we just going, to, are we going to push it off the edge? Are we going to be a cat? And just push those things off the edge. Basically. <laughs> so. All right. Well, I don't have anything else. Things are being done. The work is being accomplished. And we are getting close to the end of Wix 5. Which is, at this point, one, two, three, four weeks away. Coding all done kind of thing. So, fun and games. All right. Well, on that note, uh, I guess we'll see all you guys in two weeks. So till then, you guys take it easy. Bye. Bye.